thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Always yeah. happy to see you. Yes, this is thank the second you. time around. But now I get you near the holiday season. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tell me what it was like making Friday After Next. Oh, Friday After Next, man, it was a blast. You know, it, as, as we all know, it comes on every year this time. Yes. Um, it's been coming on now for about 20-some years. Uh, <laughs> thanks to the fan. Yes. You know, they always run it on, on different networks. Um, it was great working with, with Ice Cube and Cat Williams and, and, and Ricky so Smiley. Many great. So many greats, man. So we just wanted to leave something for people to watch every year that was that was ours. Yes. It's us. Yes. You know, Osley Brothers is on the con on the soundtrack. So this Ooh, is chai. you know, them that... same Christmas songs we've been hearing since we was kids. Is on there. Yes, it keeps it traditional. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta ask you, what is some of your other favorite holiday movies? The, the Grinch that saved Christmas, I got to watch that. The Grinch? Okay, yeah, the okay, Grinch. okay, I can see yeah, you watching. I that. love watching the Grinch. But, you know, the holidays is different for me. You know, I'm always working on right. the holidays, believe it or not. I don't work on Christmas or Thanksgiving, but I usually work after or before, yeah. you know. So I really don't celebrate Christmas. I make sure the kids got toys, you know, make sure they got everything. But I really don't, you know, get yeah. in. I eat the food. That's traditional enough. I, I, I come for the holidays to eat the food and to drink the liquor. <laughs> That's okay. my celebration. Okay. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't... <laughs> Sit in your good chair and do all of that good stuff. Yeah. Now, you got a birthday coming up. Yeah. Any birthday plans? <laughs> I got a big birthday plan. Uh, my, my daughter is going to college in Paris now. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, my daughter goes to college in Paris. So my birthday is uh, actually on a weekend, and I'm not working. Okay. So I'm going to go visit her oh. at the same time. You're a good dad. I'm going to try to celebrate a birthday while I'm there. <laughs> to, to, but, you know, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, trying to kill two birds with one stone. I don't blame you for that. That's a nice way to spend your birthday. Yes, yes. And I'm sure you're a proud dad. You're I am. I'm proud something. of my kids. I love yes. all of them. Yes. You know? Yeah, I love all of them. Yes. You, your son's birthday, like, his birthday is New Year's birthday? Yeah. Wow. So how was his party? His part, my son's party was, oh, man. He is so cute. Man, he, my wife ended up having all these animals and stuff, and we live in a regular little small neighborhood in Indianapolis. And I come down the street, man, it was horse <laughs> boo-boo all on the... So it was like a, a what you call them little pony things? He got a pack of cigarettes in his pocket right there. He <laughs> is so cute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He got that hat at the liquor store, cause I <laughs> and them boots I got them at uh, Payless over on the. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> and this is your first son, cause you have a lot of daughters, and this is man, your first time having a boy. I just want to thank my wife for giving me a son, man. She gave me a son. Oh. Man, if a woman give you a son after you, and I got six beautiful daughters yes. now. Don't get me wrong, I love wow. all of my kids. They look like my mother's stuff. But man, to have a son after you uh, uh, missed blanks, you shot blanks <laughs> six times, <laughs> and then you hit a boy on the wall. Oh, Lord <laughs> Jesus. I love uh, And he's so cute. Bless your heart. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. He poo poo a lot, too. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Four, five boxes of Pampers a month. That's a, it gets expensive, man. You know what I mean? Is that the difference you see from having all the girls and then having a son like he poop a lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, what is it like working together? You know what? It's been really great. Yeah. Because Mike is such a gambler, right? He is the one that just, like, takes all the risk. I'm super, you know, meticulous. Uh -huh. So I've learned so much. I build so much confidence working with him because now I'm just, like, Go big or go home. So it's been great. I love working with my husband. I really do. It feels like it. I love the joy in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Vice versa, you know? Yeah. Wow. So what gave y'all this idea to do this? Because I'm loving it. Like, buy back the block. Right. I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> well, you know what? I bought these houses uh, maybe about 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was buying these houses, they were in gentrified neighborhoods that, that hadn't been um, developed yet. 
Mm. I was buying these houses and people were like, oh man, why you buying them little raggedy houses, man? You know, buy some houses in LA. You know, I'm like, oh, it's, they, they too expensive out there. <laughs> so I came back to the Midwest to start buying houses. And um, over the years, I was chipping away at, buy, at, at fixing on these houses. And over the years, they became worth money. People wanted to move from the suburbs to the inner city because they didn't want to commute that far from work. Mm -hmm. So in these inner cities, people start buying these inner city homes, which the value came back. I started working on them a little bit, but I really wasn't that great at working on homes because I wasn't too new to it. Mm -hmm. um, I showed you these houses immediately when we got together. And so I was trying to show off. I'm like, look at the, that, that. And she was looking at the paint like, oh, God. Like, oh, you know, you need a little help. <laughs> so she put her woman's touch on it. Yeah. And yes. we went, yeah, she yes. put, yeah, yes, and it, it, it made it a real house. <laughs> you know, Mike had bought the properties when it was just crime infested, drug written. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, it, the neighborhood flipped. But there was so much history in there because Mike's grandmother lived in this house 60 years ago. Okay, right. so they lost the property and Mike bought it back once he got in Hollywood and he started wow. making money. And uh, yeah, and it was, you know, it was important to him mm -hmm. to go back. You know, we were living in LA at the time and um, I was like, let's go back. Let's go back. Nice. And, you know, I'm from the Midwest, so I'm like, we got to go back. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we went back home and, you know, we started just knickknacking a little bit, fixing this, fixing that. And then we came to a conclusion, like, we should show people this. This is bigger than design. This is about yeah. community. It's about legacy. It's about buying back your block. It's Love about this. culture, yes. you know? So mm -hmm. um, we're happy to tell that story and to yeah. hopefully inspire people to do the same thing. Right. You're inspiring me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to go back and buy the block in Chicago. <laughs> you can do it. I'm just saying. Yes, you can. What is the best part about renovating to you guys? Telling a story. Mm. You can tell any story you want. You really can. Um, for Grandma's house specifically, no question. I remember I said, what do you want to do with this house? Remember, this is a 60-year-old house, right? This yes. is his grandmother's where they cooked every yeah. Sunday. My All mother, the kids grew up there. Yeah. It was a big Anna deal. Anna Walker, my grandmother, she was a matriarch of our family. Yeah. And she raised all of her kids in this house. Yeah. But over the years, as time went on, like I said, we lost the house. She lost the house and moved to Florida. And... Um, I got, I, bought, I told my mother too, before my mother, rest in peace, I said, mama, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get every house that we ever got kicked out of. Ooh, I and I that. went back and bought them houses. Yeah. You know, and, and with the help of my wife, because my wife is so smart and Thank you. I mean, she's a whole front part <laughs> and the back part of my brain, <laughs> you know, so with her help, man, and we, us coming together, we were able to pull this off, you yeah. know. So we, we did grandma's house all black. Because yeah. he was like, I want an all black house in this neighborhood. I want to set the tone. I want to tell a story. For black excellence. You yeah. know, my grandmother was black excellence to me. Yep. So we, we started the there with the design. Yeah. And then from there, from like the aesthetic of the outside, I was able to kind of build the inside. Mm. So, so you had a vision and then you pull it together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.